Well, let's uh, talk about the Caribbean uh, benthic habitat map. So I'm the lead scientist for the Caribbean division and we work with about 23 countries and territories. And um, we work a lot on expanding marine protection. And over the past uh, 18 years, I've been uh, working with countries to uh, ex expand marine protection in about 12 million acres uh, that, that we've been able to uh, get into some type of management. And this management can be tracked at this website, CaribbeanChallenge.org. And, and as you can see now, uh, six of 30 countries have achieved the 30 by 30 goal. And what, what really guides this management is understanding uh, what's underwater. So we spend a lot of time trying to get consistently mapped products of the extent of benthic habitats. And we're moving more into the uh, exclusive economic zone realm. And it's much more difficult to map. Uh, we're interested primarily in biodiversity and representation of these habitats. So uh, uh, methods like sonar and uh, trying to use bathymetry as a, uh, the derivatives from bathymetric models to try to identify some of these areas of the high biodiversity uh, is really important, but I'm going to be talking about our use of remote sensing in the shallow zone. So we're talking about up to about 30 meter depth, 200 or uh, 100 feet, and we use a variety of tools to monitor these habitats. In the past five years, we've been using a lot of drones and training governments in, in how to collect data on their own. This is more personal remote sensing where we can monitor a reef track or mangrove patch on a regular basis. And we've also been uh, expanding into surface drone mapping, uh, snorkeler and diver-based mapping, creating close uh, proximity photogrammetric products to monitor these reefs. That's a real valuable process uh, to evaluate changes over time. But I'm mainly going to be focusing on satellite. But each one of these scales provides different insight into uh, these benthic features. And we've recently published our, it came out two weeks ago, this article that talks about this whole product. So I invite you, if you want to find out more, to go to this uh, article. And this is a three, we're going on a three-year uh, process. It took about a year to get the, the uh, mosaic in place. And this mosaic consisted of about 38,000 planet uh, scope dove classic scenes. Uh, we work to normalize that with the planet scientists, with Greg Asner's team, to create this product that was catered for benthic mapping. We had to use a color target and do a series of adjustments to, to get the reflectance that we needed. So these are the habitats we're interested in mapping. Uh, we did a, a variety of tests to see what was possible with the radiometric uh, capacity of, of the planet scope data. And these are the habit, these are a representation of some of those habitats. It was a total of 13 habitats. And we know that to create a good map, you need to start with good imagery. And that took us a year to do. You need to have really good field data. And we used over 7,000 uh, field points that have been collected over the years in various countries, uh, involving a lot of fun field work and, and collection of uh, video drop cam video, as well as uh, photography. And so once we had that, we used e-cognition to train and to create a rule set that, that was used to classify. We used a combination of uh, geomorphic mapping techniques that were manually delineated. And then we used that to seed and to create the footprint of different benthic habitats that could be seen in the, the planet scope imagery. Here is an example of an area where we're trying to identify the reef crest and then the back and fore reef, which are important areas for monitoring uh, these reef habitats and reef ecosystems. It took about a year to apply these, uh, this role set to the entire uh, mosaic, which, which covered um, over 2000 square kilometers. And, or I'm sorry, 200,000 square kilometers of shallow reef area. 
And here's an example in the Turks and Caicos of what that product looks like. And this provides a baseline that we can use across the Caribbean to assess protection status on, on each of these habitats. And we can compare, compare previous global maps that were available uh, to look at reef extent. And you can see that on the left. Uh, those are the WCMC maps. And, and with our new maps, we map a lot more reef area. We were looking at coral algae matrix, as well as the, the reef crest, the back and the fore reef. We looked at uh, spur and groove. All of these could be identified from the, from the maps and, and much more reef area was, was mapped as, as a result. And then we looked at our current protected area status and we were able to uh, intersect our benthic habitats with those protected areas and do an assessment and this is a figure that shows coral reef and seagrass uh, under protection or management. And you can see the, the areas in green are doing a good job of protecting those habitats and the areas in orange and, and red fall, fall in, in those areas below uh, 20, 20%. And the Bahamas is on the verge of declaring uh, uh, twice the amount of protection. So, so they're going to be increasing their protection status. And we're also working with Barbados on a marine spatial plan, which is gonna expand marine protection. So all of these products can be found at this story map, uh, caribbeanmarinemaps.tnc.org. And you can look at the regional products that were created from the planet scope imagery. Those can be downloaded. Uh, we've had uh, over 150 uh, users who have downloaded and, and we try to capture how they're using that data um, so we can use it uh, to leverage more of this work. We've also done a lot of work with airborne imagery and identifying uh, areas to outplant coral that's being grown in a nursery. And we, uh, we've done uh, a lot of work with our partners to try to expand uh, this the work with coral reefs and with mangroves. And uh, this is all part of our, our, our strategy to uh, protect these habitats, which provide a variety of, of benefits to people, uh, as well as, as to coastal communities. And uh, all of our work can be found at that uh, story map there, caribbeanscienceatlas.tnc.org. And there's my email address.